open the box of Siri Bohand Rehabilitation System HR06C. You will have the following components, host, power glove, data glove, manual switch, adapter and reho accessories. Put the device on the flat table and connect the AC power with the host through the adapter. Then you can see the power indicator on the host is on. Insert the plug of power glove into corresponding socket on the side of host. If necessary, you may insert plug of data glove and manual switch as well. Don't forget to calibrate the data glove before training. To insert or pull out the plug, you need to press the corresponding socket clips. Select a proper size of power glove for the affected hand. Put on the glove and pull the whole hole over towards the wrist so that the fingertips go as far as possible into the glove. Then tighten on the waist and fasten the velcro of lateral strap without discomfort. For data glove, do not fold it to the limit, in case the inner sensor broken. During training, use the hand pillow to raise the wrist to prevent the gloves from rubbing against the table top. Press the power button to start the host. And you may see the this home page on the touchable screen. All training modes and parameters can be selected in the setting menu. O6E contains two flexion and extension training modes. Refined mode and group mode. After you get into training page. You may also quick switch fine mode or group mode by the button in the upper right corner of the training page. Under refine mode, there will be passive, finger pinch, bilateral mirror and functional training. Under group mode, there will be passive, bilateral mirror, assistance, resistance training. After selecting the relative parameters such as intensity, training duration etc. in this setting page. Return to home page. Then start training by tapping the start icon. The passive training in the refined mode allows the fingers to be trained one by one. If you choose auto as the control mode, the power glove will automatically drive the affected hand to complete the training. If you enter the setting page and choose the manual mode, you may use the manual switch to manually drive the power glove to complete the training. The data glove is needed for this training. Confirm the proper connection of data glove and calibrate the data glove by tapping the icon data glove or calibration for the first time running before starting training. Wear the data glove on your healthy hand and power glove on the affected hand. Select the relative parameters, then return to home page. Tap the mirror training icon to initiate the training. Wear the power glove on your affected hand. Select the relative parameters such as training intensity duration and finger pinch etc. In the action library setting page under refined mode. Then return to home page. Tap the assistance training icon to initiate the training. Wear the power glove on your affected hand. Select the relative parameters such as training intensity duration and finger pinch etc. in the setting page under refined mode. Then return to home page. Tap the functional training icon to initiate the training. And do not forget to use Reho accessories to enhance training quality. Next, let's take a look at what trainings are available in group mode. After selecting the relative parameters such as training intensity and duration etc. in setting page under group mode, then return to home page. Then start training by tapping the passive training start icon. The glove will drive your hand to finish extension and flexion. The data glove is needed for this training. Confirm the proper connection of data glove. And calibrate the data glove by tapping the icon data glove calibration for the first time running before starting training. Wear the data glove on your healthy hand and power glove on the affected hand. Select the relative parameters, then return to home page. Tap the mirror training icon to initiate the training.
whether power glove on your affected hand. Select the relative parameters, then return to home page. Tap the assistance training icon to initiate the training. The affected hand can send out a force of flexion or extension. After being captured by the sensor, the patient is helped to complete the entire flexion and extension movement through the pneumatic device of the rehabilitation glove. With a power glove on your affected hand, select the relative parameters, then return to home page. Tap the resistance training icon to initiate the training. The affected hand can send out a force of flexion or extension. And after being captured by the sensor, the pneumatic device of the rehabilitation glove will make the opposite force. And the patient needs to complete the grasping action under resistance. For active game, you need to wear the data glove on your affected hand. Select the relative parameters in game page in setting menu, then return to home page. Tap the game icon to initiate the active game training.